Hi, I'm Rob with Advanced Flight Systems, a division of Dynon Avionics. Since we couldn't go to Sun and Fun this year, we thought we'd make a video and show you one of our advanced panels. This one is for an RV7. It's set up with a single screen AF5600. All of our screens are based on our advanced control module. This really is the electrical system for the plane. It makes all the avionics plug and play and it has electronic circuit breakers so you can look at each channel like this. You can see the amperage. This is designed to run a Dynon HDX or an AF5600 and we actually make panels with all of those options. One of the big advantages of our panel is it can grow along with your budget. You can start out with a single screen VFR panel and we can pre-cut and put cover plates in the spot for an MFD a GPS navigator in second com, and a backup EFIS like this panel is. So one of the big advantages is we let you start with an inexpensive VFR single screen panel and we make it extremely easy for you to upgrade in the future as your budget allows. In this case what we can do is let's say you want to start and add a MFD screen. If you take the screws out It's already pre-cut. It has the plates in it for the second EFIS, for the MFD screen. So in this case, we're going to put a second AF5600 in. We'll just mount it in here, like this. We'll screw in the screws. Now mounting's the easy part. With the traditional panel, now you'd have a whole lot of wiring to do, but not with our system. We give you pre-made harnesses, and we have them in different lengths for different configurations. So in this case, let's turn off the avionics switch. That turns off the power, so we don't plug anything in with the power on. We're gonna then plug in the pre-made harness, or the MFD here. This end then plugs into the ACM, main connector, and then the Skyview network plugs in here. That easy. Okay. We've mounted, we've plugged our pre-made harness, we'll go ahead and turn it on. Radios come on, the screen should come on, and it'll find the other unit. And as you can see, it powered right up and is working and talking to the other EFIS. One of the neat advantages we actually do with the F5600 is if you have a map screen on your pilot PFD, this joystick is the pan and zoom feature. But if you don't have a map up and you're relying on the map on the MFD screen, this joystick then takes over and controls the screen on the other side so you don't have to reach around to control it. So I think we've shown how you can add a second MFD. The next thing, let's say, you'd want to do is add an IFR navigator later on. That is extremely easy. Same here, we've got the pre-made plates. We'll just unscrew the plate. Take it out. In this case, this panel was cut for a Garmin GNC 355. We have the tray pre-made with a harness that just plugs into the ACM. So the next step is just mount the tray and we'll plug it in. So let's see how you do that. So the next step then is to actually mount the tray. This is what it would look like when you get it from us. It's got a tray with a pre-made harness designed to just plug into two plugs on the ACM. And then the next step, we'll go ahead and plug in the harness to the ACM. There's two plugs in this case. NAVCOM 1 is the radio part, and then the GPS is a second plug. We'll plug those in. We will then go ahead and turn back on the avionics, and it should turn right on like that. It's that easy to add a navigator. So the next thing we want to do in our upgrade program here is that we want to put in a backup EFIS for IFR flying. So we've pre-cut the panel for a backup EFIS. So if you take the screws out, just like the other ones, We'll pull this cover off. It's cut with a 3 and 8 inch. In this case, we have a 
Garmin G5, we also have a harness for a G5 that plugs right into the ACM. So let's go ahead and mount it. Okay, now that we've mounted the mounting tray for it, we'll put the cable through it, we'll take the unit, and we'll slide it in, mounts with screw. Just like before, we're gonna turn off avionics power from the ACM. This plug is then marked backup EFIS. There's a backup EFIS plug in the back. We'll just plug it in. Screw it down. And we'll turn back on avionics. And there it turns on. So I think we've showed how easy it is with an advanced panel to start out with a very affordable VFR panel and over time, as your budget allows, let you add a second MFD a GPS certified navigator, and a backup EFIS. One of the advantages of our advanced panel system is we used switches that are a common form factor with a printed circuit board and an easy connector to install. So in this case, it's our standard master switch module for dual mags. If later on you decide you want to add PMAGs to the system, you can replace the standard module with our PMAG module. This gives you the circuit breakers and the switches for a PMAG. And it's really as easy as just unscrewing the four screws and mounting the new PMAG module in the same place and then running your wiring to your PMAG. Nobody else makes a panel that's as easy to upgrade and future-proof your airplane. If you have any more questions or would like to, more information, please email us at sales at advancedflightsystems.com. Thank you.